All right, so before y'all started complaining, I went ahead and cleaned me up a little spot over here, pulled out my table and stuff, and got some stuff organized. This is my baby, okay? LS1, heads, cam, uh, BTR stage four cam, uh, you know, the whole works. Motors rebuilt, 243 heads. Trunnion upgrade, lifters, uh, one piece push rods, all that good stuff. The motor's gravy. <clears throat> so here's where we're at on that 4L65 stuff. So you can see I got the valve body off. What happened in this transmission was a torque converter uh, busted and uh, it, it burnt up my drum. So here's where we're at so far. We're all the way stacked up. We've got our five pinion lower planetary already installed with new clutches and steels. And then came on up with the lower center support. Um, that is that uh, round thing that you have to kind of shimmy that little uh, gear in that's Borg Warner. I took out the factory, put Borg Warner center support. So get that. That's about $40. That planetary came in. That five pinion planetary came in my LS1 transmission. As well as did the other one too, but uh, the planetary was still stuck in it. So there's no way we're going to be using that one. So I had to buy another five pinion planetary. You can see one, two, three, four, five, instead of your regular four. Okay. So that's where we're at. We got our beast sun shell, $50 sun shell. And we have a bearing. Okay, so let me explain this to you. With that planetary sits in this thing. Okay, and so I put another reaction shell because these marks, you can feel them. I mean, if you got some marks that are there, it's okay, but when you can feel them like that, then it's best not to skimp. So, and the way that this is working, guys, everything absolutely has to work together. So what I've learned since 2007 of, of being an installer and then watching them being rebuilt, you cannot shortcut. If you have one wiped out bushing, this, for example, just right here, you got one wiped out bushing the whole transmission is going to fail. So bushings are definitely a key. When you buy your transmission rebuild kit with the paper and the clutches, buy the bushing kit, okay? Because you're going to need to do the bushings. One down here in the case, the very back one, to keep that back drive shaft, you know, from moving around, having a lot of play. Um, and all through here, you have to put bushings. I mean, there's bushings everywhere. That keeps the pressure, keeps the pressure good. You see the brass bushings? Okay, so we have our new pump. Well, not new pump, but same pump with the new front bushing. Okay, and also a new bushing here. A key thing is, all this is about to get clean, so don't trip out, you uh, uh, people that freaking are neat freaks. All this is going to get clean. I got a bunch of solvent, paint thinner, cleaner. We're going to be cleaning everything. Okay, so I had new, you can put the scarf cut rings here, but I went ahead and just had them size just for some added peace of mind 
But one thing to look in here is every time you're doing the tranny job, look in there because if there is a lot of wear, which, sorry, it's pretty dirty, but when you can see wear in those shafts, your stator shaft, you see this is the stator right here, it's bolted on. If you see wear in there, you have to get another shaft because it will not hold pressure because it sits on there, okay? So here's where we are. We got our snap ring installed. I was having trouble last video because the bearing that I got, instead of the gold, let me see. Let me grab one for you. I probably trashed it. Yep. So instead of this thing, Instead of this thing on the sun shell, instead of it riding like that, we went ahead and put a bearing. So it's not one of these ones, it's a wide one that sits all the way around here. Dab it in goop, stick it on here, put this in and tap with a wooden hammer down in there to make sure that sun gear is sitting properly. And then you can get your snap ring on, okay? So. Everything finally stacked up. I was having hell and I had to pull everything back apart and just make sure, okay? So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting the last pieces together, okay? So we have this drum that I've already stacked out. It is rebuilt. I'm going to put the pump aside. This, let me show you. These rings are new, they've been sized, they're already greased up, okay? You can see the teeth are not wiped out. You definitely wanna make sure all that is good. We've got our thrust washer down in there and then we've got our bearing, okay? So <clears throat> here's what we're looking at right now. <clears throat> and we're going to fix this stack up. Because right now we have, we're gonna count the clutch, clutches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm going to a different setup right here because I need more holding power on this 3-4 clutch pack. <clears throat> this is going to afford me 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 instead of 6. Okay? So give me a second. It's going to get shaky. But I'm going to position this camera hopefully to where we can all see what's going on. So give me a second. Bear with me. All right, guys. Be patient. Remember, I'm not no freaking professional videographer or whatever the hell you want to call it. Okay, so we're going to get our steel off. to get this set up out as you can see I've already got my clips in there load springs do not leave those out I'm talking to one of my buddies that have been building transmissions for 20 years do not leave those out those are for your downshifting and you don't want to do that okay so if you notice these steels, normally I buff them off and reuse them. These are new clutches, but you know what? I decided I'm not gonna shortcut this build and I'm putting new steels, okay? So, here's how we're gonna do this. This thick one, of course, is your pressure plate that goes on top, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna stack these out. Let's see. 
Oh, no, no, no. I still gotta use the special fight. Let me see. Let's give it a shot. I wanna see something. Alright, you can see the difference in thickness. Alright, let's try to stack this out. He said this was gonna be a mission. Normally I'd be standing this up so you guys can see. We're just gonna go for it like this. Okay. Obviously you can see the wear pattern on this. So you know that hey, there was a clutch right in there. It wasn't just a steel. Okay? Let's keep going. We wanna give them load springs room to sit. So we're gonna place that open part where the load spring sits. So that clutch steel, clutch steel. Okay. Hopefully we can get all eight in. Get more holding power on this 3-4 clutch pad. Okay, this thing in here also locks one way and turns. That's Borg Warner. That input sprag, that's Borg Warner. Okay? You want that stuff. You need that stuff. You will break the factory stuff. I'm telling you now. If you're doing a high performance build, you want that Borg Warner stuff inside. These are a little bit thinner steels. Ray Bestos steels. Okay. All right. There we go. It's all light. So let me see. Let me get some air. I'm gonna blow off these load springs. Obviously they got a seat. You can see they got a seat on them. We want to put that seat down. Okay? I'm gonna let it sit down. Okay, sitting down all the way. Alright, let's see if we can get our Fish plate in here. Oh yeah. All right. So we want to set these to where they're hitting on here, to where one's not going to be flexing when it applies. We want them to line up behind something. Okay. We're pretty close. Bam, look at that. We got all eight in. With just a little bit of play. That's what we want. We only need eh, 15 thousandths of play, maybe 30. That's good. We got all eight in. Look at that. That's beautiful. 
That's exactly what we wanted, okay? <clears throat> so, let's move on real quick. Now, we've got a couple drums to choose from. You see I got this wide band here. Let me show you the factory. get that. I showed you the factory one last video. Okay, now check this out. We've got two of these two four drums. This one I'm having to skimp on because I do not have the money to buy this drum. Okay, look at them two. Which one looks more decent? Okay, that one on the right has got real hot. So, of course, I've already straight edged these. This one is very straight. This one has been abused a little bit. Also, if you look at the gaps, like the teeth, you'll see some of these are pretty worn. <clears throat> like this one. They're actually not bad, but this one did get pretty hot. Okay? So, we're going to go for this one. And let me see. Let me look at these bushings in here. I'll check these bushings out. And these bushings look really good too. Okay. So guess what? This one's already stacked. Let's see. Let me pop it just to make sure. I don't know if I showed you. These clutches are gone. These steels got really hot too. So let me look at this other one. This might be the one I already stacked. And man, those bushings look better in this one to be honest. Let's pull some out. Oh yeah. Okay, this has already got my new clutches. And look at them steels. Okay, so what that tells me is they were applying pretty evenly in this drum. Okay. All right. I'll tell you what. We are still going to go with this setup over here. Even though it looks a little hot, like it got a little hot, we're going for this one. Hold on, some fishy going on here. Let me pull everything out. Let me move this aside. I'm hurting my back reaching all over. Okay, so wave plate. Okay, that's what the deal is. This wave plate needs to go in. with the wave with the wave down okay. and there needs to be another steel you can see there's no clutch riding here okay look on the other side okay so bam wave plate steel clutch steel clutch 
steel, clutch, steel, clutch, pressure plate. You can see the bevel, bevel goes down. Okay. I said don't skimp, but look at these bushings on this one. I can obviously tell, yeah, it did get a little warm, but these bushings actually look way better than these ones. These ones look pretty tired. Okay, so we're gonna set this one out of our way. All right, we've got it loaded. We've got our snap ring on. We're gonna drop it on. We got our bearings in here, thrust washer, bearing. Oh my fault, I don't need Lift up and spin. All right, you heard that clump? This one is solid. That's solid, okay? Now, let me shift your attention over here. This whole setup. Got everything on point. Everything's here. Bam. Snap ring set as close as we can under this groove. Okay. Solid. Going in. This one you want to rock back and forth and spin. Lift up just a little bit. We're waiting for that clump. That means it sat down all the way. There it is. You heard it? Solid. Okay. All right. I'm gonna clean the pump off. I'm gonna take a break on this one real fast. I'll be right back. 